Hello, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday, the 8th of June 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, and you can download the uh, app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's try and uh, decipher as to uh, what happened today and the uh, potential ending as well. Uh, in terms of the European markets. Now, the uh, European session itself certainly closed positive, although not as convincingly. Uh, the Asian markets overnight certainly closed mixed with the Nikkei higher and the Asian markets lower. Uh, the FTSE itself closed up 0.2%, whereas the uh, DAX, the CAC and the Euro stocks closed down on the back of a stronger Euro, with the Euro now obviously uh, down to one13 uh, well, approaching the 1.14 level. Okay, so let's try and decipher exactly what's going on here and the potential next uh, uh, direction in the market. Okay, now the uh, fundamentals, first of all, as always. So let's bring up the uh, economic data releases today. Okay, so the FTSE 100 or the UK index certainly was the uh, the outstanding um, in terms of economic data today. Now, Chinese data was uh, the uh, uh, the main um, variable overnight with uh, exports down, trade balance down, but imports slightly better than expected, which certainly held or kept the European uh, markets afloat to a large extent, although they were weighed down by a stronger euro. Then we had manufacturing production, industrial production out in the UK stronger than expected. You also had NIE, NIE SR, GDP estimate stronger than expected. Then over to the US session, you had mortgage applications and uh, JOL openings certainly stronger than expected as well. And also with regards to oil, you certainly had a favorable oil report. Now, Chinese exports certainly have helped the uh, the actual uh, oil trade. Okay, well, should I say Chinese imports have held, helped the oil trade. Uh, exports certainly haven't put... The oil prices are approaching fifty-one dollars, uh, fifty-one point uh, three. I think the pivot high was. If I bring up my charts on oil, you can see that. Uh, if I bring up a daily chart for you, folks, okay, you can see that that gap fill here at fifty-one point three certainly has held. The upper diagonal uh, trend line certainly has held as well as resistance. So oil prices certainly are are into resistance and expected to potentially move lower. Okay, over in regards to oil, now. The Aussie and Kiwi certainly have moved higher impressively today. I've been stopped out of the uh, the uh, the Kiwi trade, uh, although my Aussie trade certainly just about survived uh, with stop loss at 0.67484. Uh, certainly has survived. The daily chart of the Aussie itself, as you can see here, approaching the Fib 61% and previous support equals resistance. Whereas the uh, uh, Kiwi uh, dollar trade certainly impressive, thrust higher back into that uh, pivot high at 0 0.7033 uh, impressive okay so going into the uh, rbnz the kiwi certainly has uh, rallied quite considerably okay folks quite considerably so that certainly seems to be the scenario at present now the kiwi and the aussie certainly both into resistance as along with oil okay the us dollar itself is into support if i bring up the chart the us dollar index uh, now the economic data today out of the us mortgage applications and Jolts job opening certainly both positive, and you have held that Fib 61% support. Looking at the four hour chart, you can certainly see you are uh, certainly get garnering support here and looking at a potential move higher. Now, I remain the short, short the Aussie, and I have actually opened up a short on the euro at 1.14 as well. Okay, now in terms of the indices, okay, given the fact that the FTSE certainly was helped by the stronger oil price, let's see exactly how the European indices fared. Now, the European indices hit a pivot low of 3008 on the euro stocks. The unfilled gap still remains open at 3001, though, okay? And I'm still remaining short, expecting that gap fill to close. The actual uh, uh, daily chart on the euro stocks, you can see that we are look, looking to potentially close that gap. Not only that, we also have a potential test of 2950 on the back of a stronger euro, okay? Now, the German DAX, again, it was a stronger euro. Uh, we had this diagonal trend line, we certainly held it, okay? We did hit a pivot low of uh, 10.180 on the 
on the back of the weaker, uh, not weaker should I say, but stronger US dollar jobs data because obviously it indicates hawkish, uh, a hawkish stance from the Fed and therefore that's considered to be negative. Remember, good news is bad news or bad news is good news in this uh, uh, QE mad market, okay? The French CAC as well uh, certainly hit a pivot high of 44.74 before it pulled back down to 44.36. So previous resistance equals support was held, but the unfilled gap certainly remains in, in play at 44.23. So certainly watch out for that potential gap to close, okay, before this market attempts to move higher, okay? Now in terms of the FTSE 100, now the FTSE 100 has a HNS formation in the 10 minutes chart, which I'm actually currently short. And looking to take advantage of on the uh, the actual FTSE 100 10 minute chart you clearly see that there 60 minute chart we had a bull flag which has failed because the, the, the bullish engulfing was certainly retraced we certainly held the previous resistance equals support at 6280 and we bounced up to 6300 given the stronger UK data it certainly has helped the FTSE although having said that oil prices are now into resistance and everything has been factored into the equation Brexit concerns still continue to weigh on the FTSE, so I would not, regardless of what how strong the economic data is, I would certainly be careful. As you can see, yesterday's topping tail certainly has held, and Brexit concerns certainly remain uh, dominant, the dominant theme, and uh, certainly is uh, indicates risk aversion. Okay, so the FTSE itself is still holding below that 6320 key resistance zone, and expected to potentially move lower. Okay, now. In terms of uh, what to expect for the remainder of the uh, session, the only key uh, variable is the uh, RBNZ monetary policy. Other than that, there's uh, machine orders overnight from Japan. Nothing major. Uh, let's have a look this week. Let's, let's go into Thursday's session. Okay, so you have uh, P inflation data out overnight in China. Okay, that will be very important. Uh, you have uh, imports, exports, and trade balance from Germany tomorrow, trade balance from the UK tomorrow, uh, e industrial production, EU data, you have uh, continuous jobless claims and initial jobless claims. So, again, tomorrow will be quite an important day. Uh, will be a very important day, actually, especially with inflation data out of China. And that will dictate the movements in the Aussie and the Kiwi as well. Okay, so I think that's a, a market wrap. Be sure to uh, visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus. Goodbye. Goodbye.